Hi guys, B Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Android 14 on LG V50 device. So let me first show you what Android version I'm running. As you can see, this is Android 14 Evolution X ROM, which is in GSI image. In this ROM, you will get all the pixel features like lock screen modifications, AI wallpapers, and much more features. Also, Gcam port will work without an issue on this ROM. Also, you can flash QDAC to get the high-res audio features as well. So before we start, can you guys subscribe my channel? That would mean a lot. Before installing the GSI, you will need to install custom ROM as a base ROM for your device. In my case, I've already installed Ristroid Android 13 custom ROM for LG V50. This will fix some issues with the GSI images, like haptics won't work. By this way, you won't have such issues. If you want the tutorial for how to install Android 13 custom ROM for LG V50, click on the pop-up banner or check the link in the description. Now to begin the process, you need to boot your device into fast boot mode. For that, you will need to install custom bootloader. Click here if you want to watch how to do that. So let's shut down the device. To enter fast boot mode, you will need to hold volume down button and plug in the device to PC. As you can see, the device had entered the fast boot mode. Other steps are done by the PC. To the continue process, your PC need the ADB drivers and platform tools to perform correctly. First download the GSI ROM from given link or any other sources. Then extract the ISO file inside it to the platform tools location. Now type CMD in the path field to open command prompt in that location. Now all you have to do is enter these commands. I forgot to mention if downloaded GSI is in zip format the process will fail. You will need the ISO file. So if your GSI file is in zip format, extract it like this. Also, you will need the VB meta file as well. I will provide my file in the description. Or you can extract your VB meta file using QFill tool. So while entering the code, if you get output saying waiting for a device, that means the device is not detecting as a ADB fastboot device. To solve this issue, open device manager. In here, check in other devices. As you can see, there is device named Android. Right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for driver. Select Android bootloader interface and update the driver. Now let's enter the code again. As you can see now it's successful. For this third code paste it and put a space. Now drag and drop the GSI image file to CMD. Now hit enter. This will begin the GSI flashing process. After entering the command to reboot, unplug the device from the PC and let it boot for the first time. This may take some time so be patient. As 
As you can see, the GSI ROM is now successfully installed. Let's check out all the functions are working. Because of the base ROM, the haptic feedback is now working as well. So that's it for this video. If you find this video useful, please help me by subscribing.